Prime Minister Philip J. Pierre disclosed during Monday's press briefing that Cabinet has authorized the Cybersecurity Analyst Training Program under the Cyber Nations banner, commencing with 100 participants to address global expertise shortages and protect St. Lucia's advancing digital frameworks in governance, finance, healthcare, and commerce. Protexia requires 30 hours a week of lectures, self-study, and up to three in-person sessions. According to the government leader, the program offers certifications such as CompTIA Security Plus, giving preference to applicants with IT experience, but is open to all qualified candidates. Officials say graduates will get job placement help through cyber nations. 30% in national roles, 30% in local or regional firms, and 40% in global spots. These are paid, year-long positions designed to build practical skills. The program is designed to equip participants with the technical knowledge and industry-recognized certifications and hands-on skills necessary for successful careers in cybersecurity. Let me give you some details of the program. The duration is six months. The delivery is remote learning with lectures, self-paced modules, and up to three in-person sessions, orientation, mid-program, and graduation. Commitment, 30 hours weekly, full-time training. The curriculum sources, Protexia, Compact TIE, Cisco, Networking Academy, and other industry-recognized providers. Aligned with digitization drives like e-customs and health reforms, the effort builds certified talent pools, enhancing resilience and employability amid regional successes in remote high-wage cybersecurity careers. The Prime Minister says the $750,000 cost aims to counter threats. And the benefits? Strengthened national cybersecurity resilience across government and critical sectors. Development of a pool of certified cybersecurity analysts for St. Lucia. Enhanced employability of solutions professionals in a highly demand global industry. And support for government's digital transformation initiatives such as digital customs and immigration, internal revenue department, and healthcare. Financial implications. The program to, to be implemented will cost the government of Saint Lucia seven hundred fifty thousand U.S. dollars, and this was approved by cabinet, and will the process is ongoing, and we hope to start the training as soon as every all aspects have been put in place. We think that the Youth Economy Agency will be the lead provider. Prime Minister Pierre articulated the program's rationale. I don't know if you heard, only on Saturday there was an attack on the airport in, in, in London. Um, so we think that St. Lucia, and there have been, also there have been some cyber attacks in St. Lucia. So we think that we should have a court of well qualified and well trained cyber security, security people and the young and the young people of Senusha who have shown great inclination towards IT and its programs. That's a good opportunity for them. Pierre called on youth to apply via the Youth Economy Agency for prompt initiation. Chuakim Duplacy, HDS News Force.